The idea of warm up is basically just to get your heart rate to that level where you're ready for exercise, but you also want to warm up the muscles and the joints. So skipping is a good way, especially if you haven't got space. Five minutes skipping will give your heart rate that, that level that it needs to be at. Boxing is a lot to do with uh, your footwork and your agility and movement and speed of feet. So the ladder just brings that, brings that other advantage to it. Whilst you're warming up, you can also do a bit of technique work, getting your feet faster and quicker. Stretching your neck out, because you a lot of head movement you're going to do um, throughout the work. Uh, as you're firing them shots as well, you see you tense and you, you, um, you grit your teeth, so that can put strain on the neck, so you want to make sure it's nice and loose before you start. Um, obviously your shoulders, your arms, your lower back, just with the, um, with the side swings, touching your toes, also your hamstrings, and calves, quads. Obviously you go through your ankles as well. Shadow boxing is a good way to warm up, but also start bringing the heart rate right up to sort of fat burning and cardiovascular level works. So you can look at yourself in the mirror, if you drop in a hand, keep it up so you can see exactly what you're doing, what you're doing wrong and right. You want to be on your toes a lot in amateur boxing because it's all about speed and gaining points without taking, taking any unnecessary shots yourself. So you want to be on your toes, on the balls of your feet, in and out, nice and bouncy. Get your shots off and then move away without getting caught. Coming up to a fight, you're always picturing your opponent in front of you. So then you start to adapt to your own style to beat the opponent. The heavy bag is there to um, obviously increase strength, power, fitness, endurance. But you, again, you, you use it like shadow boxing. You work on your mistakes and with a coach on your back, you can tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. You can punch in and out of range. Use your head movement, slip, change your slipping punches and counter punching over the top. So it's, it's a very good tool good for your delts and keeping your hands up and your hand-eye coordination. Um, again, it's, it's, a, it's another fun part of boxing. You can just get on there for five, ten minutes and it gives you a nice warm-up or it aids, aids your training. There's obviously a lot of hand injuries. Even though you wrap them and strap them as much as you can, you still get them by catching the top of your head or your elbows. Everyone suffers from injuries in all, in all sports. And the best way is to warm up properly, cool down properly, and make sure you're protecting yourself throughout the training.